I definitely had got a lot of rejections um, when applying to school at first and that just mentally and emotionally was definitely challenging. Junior year of high school was definitely challenging for me. Um, it was the first year that I had failed a class ever in my life and um, my GPA just was brought it definitely was lower than it had ever been. And I was getting told from my college counselors that I should apply to community college, I should stay and stay, I should just really consider schools that were kind of closer to home um, that I could get into and that would be um, more economically fit, I guess. Um, but for me, I always had dreams of going to a big school. Um, I've always wanted to get out of state. I was interested in HBCUs and just other top tier schools. So for me, I never wanted to limit myself to community college for myself, but um, that was definitely in my head. Um, so junior year was definitely a challenging time for me, but I applied to 17 schools and um, I probably, it was definitely hard because I definitely got a lot of, um, what do they call them, declines or rejections. I definitely had got a lot of rejections um, when applying to school at first and that just mentally and emotionally was definitely challenging. And then um, I got into the top schools that I really wanted to. Um, so for me, I, get, I think even now, that's something that's so motivational when looking back at kind of my journey so far. Um, so I think um, what for me, despite my lower GPA, um, I was able to really kind of focus and study for the SATs and I think that was something that was helpful to me. So now when I talk to um, students back home or students that I'm mentoring, I always tell them you can go to your top schools, the HBCUs that are leading on your list, any of that, you just have to kind of um, show that you're a holistic person. So whether you're into an extracurricular, whatever you're passionate about, kind of do your best at that and schools will see that. So for me, I was an entrepreneur and I had started a business at 16. So I was able to highlight on that and um, kind of my journey through my entrepreneurial experience and also um, really work and focus on my SAT scores. And in turn, I was able to get into Spelman College, but it was definitely something that was a challenge, but it was well worth the challenge. And yeah, looking back, I'm inspired. And when I have like, even now in internships in the workplace, it's always kind of, it'll be challenging, but then I think back to the challenge of getting into college and all of that stuff before. Currently, I'm pursuing a career in finance, so upon graduation, I'll be working in New York um, and starting my career in Treasury, but my goal is to one day get my MBA from a top tier um, MBA program, and then later on, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do in the financial industry, but I know that whatever I do, I want to be a leader, and I know that it's important to me to give back, so um, I want to start a mentorship program for um, getting more young black women in finance because right now there's the numbers are still uh, increasing but still very low so um, working on girls in middle school so that they're not only learning about finance and the importance of finance but also learning that there's careers in finance so um, not only are we aspiring to be doctors and lawyers but we're also learning to be accountants and the important things that um, we also need in everyday life.